In the upcoming video, Noam Chomsky, is critical of many aspects of modern education and praises the virtues of a progressive education. Here is some of his key points. Chomsky believes true education fosters independent thinking and inquiry, unlike indoctrination, which imposes ideas and discourages questioning. He emphasizes a Socratic approach where students actively grapple with concepts. The current system, in Chomsky's view, often prioritizes rote memorization for standardized tests over critical thinking skills. He argues that education should focus on nurturing a love of learning and the ability to analyze information. Now, off to this wonderful clip of Noam Chomsky, and following more of his key ideas. There was a tradition in the United States, a very powerful tradition. I was lucky enough as a kid to be in a school that was part of it, of what was called progressive education. I was doing exactly the opposite of the teach for exam. I mean, I was in this school from nursery school up until high school. We didn't even know who was a good student. There wasn't any such concept, literally. I mean, I was skipped a year, but nobody paid any attention. Just meant that I was in a class with bigger kids. You know? uh -huh. Wasn't until I got to high school, uh, academic high school, which run on traditional grounds, that I suddenly discovered I was supposed to be a good student. Everybody was encouraged to do their best work together, cooperative projects, follow your own interests. Of course, there was a curriculum. So you studied the courses that were laid out, but it was done in a way to encourage your critical thinking and inquiry and questioning and so on. It's perfectly possible. You can do it from kindergarten right through graduate school. And in fact, in the best graduate schools, that's exactly what's done. So I spent most of my academic life at MIT, great science engineering school. We didn't have tests in graduate schools. Uh, I mean, maybe you got the student to write an individual paper or something. There were no grades, pass, fail, and so on. Uh, the idea was to try to encourage critical discussion. Uh, if students raise criticisms and class, okay, you might pursue that and abandon the lesson plan. Uh, that's the way you learn things. Uh, some of the, actually one of my colleagues, a friend who is a Nobel laureate in biology, described the way he taught his classes, graduate classes or undergraduate classes. He wouldn't prepare the lecture. There was a topic for the day. They had a readings, but he wouldn't prepare the lectures. He would just talk about what he thought ought to be the way things work, judging by his understanding of biology. And the task for the class was to find out if he was right. That's the way to teach. I've had classes like that. Chomsky champions a student-centered approach where learners take ownership of their education. He believes curriculum should ignite curiosity and encourage students to explore topics that excite them. Chomsky argues that the current system can pressure students towards conformity, preparing them to be obedient workers rather than engaged citizens. He believes education should empower individuals to challenge authority and think for themselves. In essence, Chomsky envisions education as a tool for liberation, fostering intellectual curiosity, critical thinking, and a desire for lifelong learning. Well, I hope you like the video and give the channel a subscribe. If you wish to join the channel and become a member, it would be greatly appreciated. I started a second channel, Progressive Movement, the link is on my homepage. Be sure to check it out. Now, take care and bye-bye.